Welcome one last time to my LP of the Holiday Gigalums 2017 level pack. So last time, uh, only two levels solved, but they were the final two levels of the Jelly Rank. Uh, the first one wasn't too hard, um, and so it was a somewhat quick solve, but the second one was a very hard level. Yeah, it took quite a while, but um, yeah, in the end I managed to get it solved, and uh, with a couple of skills left over. Um, so uh, I'm thinking my solution to that is somewhat overcomplicated, but um, I guess I'll let uh, Gigalum be the judge of that, since I believe that was his level. Uh, a very nice, challenging, and um, great level to finish off the rank, though. So, with the completion of Jellic, uh, that brings us to the final rank of Scrooge, which, as I said before, is only half completed. There's only five levels here, and hence we are down to the final five levels of the pack, or at least what was completed for this. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Let's Play now. So, first up we have Scrooge 1, Poor Lemming Strut. 20 Lemmings, 20 to be saved here. Okay, and a time limit of 3 minutes. And this is a Giga Lum, though. Let's go! Alrighty, so we have a 99 release rate. We start up here, and the exit's down here. Okay, and it's a perfectly horizontal low. Okay, um... We do have a cloner, which means we are allowed to use the bomber, but if we use the bomber, that's our only casualty we're allowed. Um, we have four builders. Um, okay, I could definitely see a swimmer going down here. So I bash through here, and then also bash the other way. Um... We don't have any climbers. I mean, um, we don't have any. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any climbers. Um, let me see. Um, yeah. So it appears that we would have to um, uh, go through the trap here. Let's see, one, two, three for the builders. So that leaves us with a builder left. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> Very bad back route here. Sorry, Gigalum. I broke this level. So, I'm probably thinking maybe pickups are the way to go here, but um, <laughs> let's see what you say. It's definitely not supposed to be that easy at all. Alrighty, Scrooge 2, Clutter Workspace. Uh, 22 lemmings, 20 to be saved. And this is a Plum 510 and Gigalum low. Alrighty. Ooh, this one there has has a lot of pickups. Where's the entrance though? It's right there. Okay, so it appears that the only way out is to the left then. Where's the exit? It's right there. Okay, uh what are you guys? He's a floater. Uh I don't know what you what you are though. Um I'm guessing you're a climber. Yeah. And then maybe a swimmer as well. Let's try it, shall we? No, you're a glider. So, let me see. You're a climber, a glider, and then something else. You know, some other skill. Uh, let me see. There's climbers. It says you're a glider. That means you're not a floater. Um... Okay, and then you're not a swimmer. Are there any traps here? Let 
Uh, I can't think of what else you could possibly be. Other than this Oh, yeah, there's a drop right there. So maybe he is a disarmor. Okay. So you're a floater. We have a basher. One, two, three, four. Four bashers in total. And then for builders, one, two. Uh, actually, no, maybe that's a stacker. One, two, three, four. Four builders as pickups, so that means we have five total. One, two, three, four. Five. No, I'm, I'm wrong. There are five basher pickups. Uh, one climber pickup. One, two, three, four for the builders. And then one bomber pickup. So we will have one bomber total. Okay, um, it appears that we don't have much choice at the beginning here. Um, so, why don't we start with the floater then? Whoops. Yeah, let's start with the floater. I'm gonna stack here. Um, yeah, let's say we um, build. And then we fence up. Uh, then again, perhaps the climber is best to get them here. Um, uh, let me go ahead and start with the uh, uh, triathlete now then. Okay, yeah, I feel like this was the more efficient way to go. Okay, and now, this should all be still, I would think. Oh, did you climb up? No, you did not, you just stepped up. Okay, I'm just seeing things. That's what that is still. Yeah, and there's essentially no other way for you to go other than to build up. Um There are two traps. Where would the crowd be going? Um Yep, you're a disarmor. Okay. So you're a climber, a glider, and a disarmor. Okay, and then what is the path that the crowd will be taking here? Um. We do have a stacker though. Um, here's that we have to stack in order to get the builder pickup. 
That's not surprising. easily. Not intended there. Uh, but probably still pretty close. Nice low though. Alrighty, next one, Scrooge Tree. Let's get a move on. Twenty livings, nineteen to be saved. Okay, and another plum five ten and gigalum low. Okay, so we can lose one here. Ooh, I like the tiles I'm mixing here. Okay, and another ninety nine. Uh, release rate low. Okay, um, so we are very, very limited on s skills here. Um, it appears that we will have to, um, go up here then. Hmm, two builders and one platformer.
Okay. <laughs> Fire in any way you want it, though, but, um... At the same time, maybe a slight background. Okay, that was actually three pretty quick ones. <laughs> um, Scrooge 4, Abandoned Toys. And this is another Giga Lemlo. Okay, 80 Lemmings, 64 to be saved. Ooh, wow, we can lose up to 16 here. Okay, uh, entrance is here. So, yeah, it appears that we have another splat hatch here. Mm, one platformer and three builders. Uh, let me see. What well, is the way to go here, then? We don't have swimmers, okay. Oh, we are given a stoner, though. Which is pretty powerful in stopping um, Lemmings from splatting. Uh, this is steel, right? I think, I feel that is steel. Let's go. Yeah, I believe it was a big mistake to give a stoner. Uh, like right at the beginning. And actually, let me go ahead and use the builder instead. Let me stone her a little better. Telling you, giggle up. That was a very bad mistake to give me a stone or a bear blood at the very beginning. Unless you did intend that. Which I don't think you did. So, that would make it four very quick ones. Alrighty, and the final load to round off the pack. Uh, Scrooge 5. That's it. I'm getting me cane. So, 40 lemmings, 33 to be saved, and it's a gigalum though. Alrighty, let's see if this is also in a highly backroutable state as well. Okay, and this must be a very big updraft. Okay, and the X is all the way on the very far right. Um, 10 builders though.
Okay, um... Trying to figure out what's the best way to go about this level. Um... Let's go. Okay, there's a fire trap there. Only one basher. Oh, wow. So, obviously, the basher will go here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So it appears that we will have to like maybe both from both sides or something. Um. Uh, let me see. Alrighty, so this will be the music that will finish off the pack, huh? Yeah, I'm just curious about something. Yeah, this is still right. Oh. Okay, it appears that this is indeed still. Okay, that's what I thought. Just want to make sure of that. Um, alrighty. Yeah, uh, I'll actually can't even go over here. So it really appears that this is the way to go. Um, hmm. So, the only destructive skills we have is a basher. Oh, but we have some bombers, though. Yeah, perhaps that's just to help us get through the um, narrow walls or something.
Yeah, that's another ball that we need to be careful of. Um. That should be trapped over there. Now those, those were five builders Four left after we build them out Three, two, one, and zero hmm. Yeah, I had a feeling that this would take too many builders Climb out. Okay, that's pretty interesting.
I already used the cloners right there, unfortunately. Um, Thank you. 
This appears to be like the hardest part here. But that unfortunately caused me to use both of my cloners. Oh wait. Wait a minute, you just bombed there, couldn't you? Er, oh, I'm an idiot.
harder now I thought it'd be. But then again, it is the final level for what was completed. And we even went one over the equipment. Uh, this right here is pretty precise though. Uh, perhaps I could have made it less precise yeah, by bombing it more carefully. And oh yeah, there we are. Okay, and so with the completion of Scrooge 5, that brings us back to the first level, which is uh, Sugar Plum 1. Okay, so that concludes um, uh, Holiday Gigalums uh, 2017. Uh, so now, looking back through the levels, Sugar Plum 1, very nice level to start off the pack, especially with a very fitting music track with um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, Sugar Plum 2, another very good level here. Um, Sugar Pump 3, I was already told that this is the only background in the batch of levels that I did for that video. Um, I still think it's a pretty nice level though. It's very nicely designed and all. And, um, and then Sugar Pump 4, a pretty nice level. And one where I just simply over the solution here. Um, Sugar Pump 5, um, another very good level here. Um, I probably like overcomplicated this one as well, but um, well, it's just all about just figuring out how to get the crowds up to the exit, uh, with the skills that we are given. Um, and then Sugar Plum Six, another very nice one here. Uh, looks very intimidating, but it's actually a pretty nice one. Um, Sugar Plum Seven, another very nice level here. Um. Mostly antenna, if I remember correctly, what Gigalum told me. Um, and then Sugar Plum 8, another pretty good one here. Um, did the, the solution slightly differently from the intended, but uh, uh, Gigalum said that was quite alright. Um, and then uh, Sugar Plum 9, Mall Crossing. Yes, this was a very good one. Um, this was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I feel like this one could definitely be a potential remake here. Um, and then uh, Sugar Plum 10, another very nice one and a really good one to finish off the rank. Um, for this one, um, could possibly be a remake as well, although um, it's a pretty short and simple one, so perhaps not. But um, even then, um, it's already in a tile set that I like. Yeah, a beast. At least two of a um of a low tile set. Yeah, it's one of my favorites here. So all the sugar plum lows here were um gigalum lows. And then for Cutly, uh Cutly one, uh Gigalum told me that this was a background. Um Cutly two, not much to say here. Uh it's just repeated uh application of karma bombing and then blowing your way up. Uh, Cutly 3, here I made the suggestion to Gigalum that um, perhaps the um, property of the could be made more clear since um, it wasn't exactly certain as to whether the um, crowd would survive or not. Um, especially since I didn't even see the uh, crowd slow their fall, uh, their fall or slash descent, um, like um, slow to the point where um, it means that the, they're being affected by the updraft and therefore will survive. Uh, but other than that, this one is a pretty nice low. Uh, somewhat, somewhat difficult, but um, Gigalum told me that my solution was pretty nice here. Um, this Cutley 4 is the first Plum 5 10 level here. Um, I think if I remember correctly, I didn't exactly use all the um, pickups here. I don't think I collected all of them either, but... Um, um, and again, I... Um, I don't know if that fall on the far left uh, being survivable is intended, though. But uh, that's likely a question for 
our friend Plum510. Um, Cutly5, I was told this was a back route. There was only one part of it I did intend it. Um, not exactly sure how it would be fixed, but um, I could probably um, take a look with Gigalum and see what we could do there, uh, depending if um, he wants to fix this up or not. Uh, Indeed, on lows here. Uh, Cutly6, one of my favorites, and definitely um, good for a remake here. Yeah, absolutely very nice solution here. And it's also in one of my favorite tile sets as well, uh, especially with, since green is, happens to be my favorite color. Uh, Cutly Sound, uh, not much to say here other than just um, timing your um, miners and climbers correctly. And I was already told that I overcomplicated the use of platformers here. And yes, I, I can see what he means there. I think I saw easier ways to use them. And um, ways in which I could have made my life easier had I done some things more carefully. Uh, Cuddly 8, a very nice level here. I think this is what this could also do for a remake. Um, so, pretty much my solution was uh, mostly intended. Uh, There's just one part, and I believe he told me it was just um, building over the teleporter. But other than that, um, it's pretty much um, intended, he said. And then Cuddly 9, one of the levels in which I don't have the original recording for. I probably spent a good maybe... Um, seven minutes here or so. Um, so it does look pretty difficult, but um, it's just really all about knowing how to um, carve a path for the uh, pre-assigned climbers here. And then Cuddly 10, yes. Uh, this one I really, really struggled with, and unfortunately I don't have the original recording for it, because if memory serves correctly, I actually ended up spending about 35-40 minutes on this one. Uh, in contrast to the very quick um, three minutes yeah, in the video that you see. Um, yeah, this one was really hard. And um, I was already told that this was a back route as well, I think. Um, I think it was the part where I was... Uh, where I went to go get the pickups. I think uh, that was kind of unintended on my part. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was a pretty nice challenging level to finish off the rank, though. Um I believe that uh, for the Cuddly uh, rank, I believe all these were Gigalum lows except for one. Uh, let's just take a quick look here. Yep, all of them were Gigalum except for that one low. Okay, then for Festive. Um, so Festive one, nice low to uh, start off the rank. Um, Gigalum told me that my solution isn't exactly intended, but um, um, the solution I found uh, does not break the law in any way, so um, it's perfectly fine with him. And then Fested 2, uh, another Gigalum low, another nice low here. Uh, I feel as if um, this low was uh, got inspiration from a migration low. I could be wrong here, though. It kind of reminds me of the um, uh, what's that low title? Something about like without an accident or something. Um, so it kind of seems that the this level has a similar idea as well. And then Fasted 3, um, uh, pretty much a complete breeder here. There, so there isn't really much to say here. Uh, nice level though. And then Fasted 4, Gigalem has told me that I um, uh, heavily back routed this one, so... Um, so I, I essentially broke it, in other, in other words. <laughs> um, Festive 5, um, like, um, some of the parts here I did correctly. He said, um, the, the, the fact that I, I did not collect one of the pickups, uh, that was pretty much not intended, I believe. Uh, I do like the low title here, though. Yeah, X plus axis, Y axis, and Z axis, just because I'm a math person and um yeah you see uh triple order pairs yeah in algebra two and stuff like that uh gigalums oh no i'm sorry not gigalum uh festive six um uh, back route as well especially with the fact that i um uh avoided the minor pickup near the exit uh it is a really nice and challenging level though especially with the uh, um how to avoid the zombies and all um let me see. Festa Sound, yeah, one of my absolute favorites. Yeah, 
pretty difficult though, but um, it has a very nice solution. So I definitely say this can do for a remake. Uh, so a very nice job to Gigalum for this low. And then Festive 8, yeah, I'm pretty sure I heavily backroute this one. Um, another nice low in this tile set, but um, yeah, unfortunately I think it's broken <laughs> for the time being. Uh, Festive 9, uh, the first and only low that needed more than one video to solve. Uh, I, I'm i not sure if Gigalum is aware of uh, the stoners being used to extend the basher um, not working. And if he was, if he is, then um, it looks like his intention was for the player to send the crowd over the top, because there's there's pretty much no chance of getting a low solved otherwise. And so I pretty much came to a hasty conclusion that the stoners will work for the basher. Um, pretty nice low here though. Uh, Fast at ten seems like an any way you want it low. Um, so pretty nice low to finish off the rank, but uh, not as hard as I thought it'd be. Uh, I think it kind of helps that there's plenty of builders here too. But uh, in in any case, still props to Gigalum for this low, very nice low, uh, especially since this is another tile set that I like too. Okay, so I believe all of this, all of these were Gigalum lows. Again, let's just check here. What was the other one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then for biting, uh, biting one, nice low to um, start off the rank here. Somewhat difficult, but it's still not too hard here. Uh, biting two, a pretty pretty close to being a favorite of mine here. Um, and it's another Gigalum level. Um, pretty nice solution here. Uh, biting three, the first uh, plump by 10 and Gigalum level. Um, it's likely in any way you want low, uh, despite the huge amount of skills that I had left. And I probably scared the both of them when, um, <laughs> when it seemed that I was going to like back router through the top there. But unfortunately, I was not aware that the red there is steel. And, uh, it is possible, it is possible that I might've been aware of that, but, um, it's been quite a while since I played lows in this tile set. Um, so maybe I just forgotten since. Um, biting four, another palm by ten and gigalum low. Um, probably another any way you want it low here. Um, so I would say that this is also a somewhat difficult level as well. Although I still think there are a couple parts of my solution that are unintended, but I think for the most part it is an any way you want low, despite the um somewhat restricted skill set. Uh, biting five is a gigalum low. Uh, pretty nice level here. Um, I think for the most part, the solution is intended, the one that I found. Um, but I especially love the fact that the lemmings take the uh, long way around on the very far left. Yeah, while you send some up ahead to forge the path. Um, probably a potential for a remake here, although if so, then it's still going to be quite a task, uh, given that this is a very wide level. And it's also in a tile set that I already like anyway. Uh, biting six, a, a very difficult low here, um, and it's a plum five ten and gigalum low. Um, yes, uh, um, it's extremely difficult to find a way to like get up this very tall low. So as a result, yeah, it gives the, an appearance of a very in, intimidating and overwhelming low. And indeed, the skill set is pretty restrictive here. Uh, but then again, uh, knowing myself, I probably overcomplicated the solution here. Uh, there's probably easier ones than the one I found. But uh, it is a pretty nice low, though. Yeah, just uh, a pretty difficult one. Okay, Binding 7, another Plum 5, 10, and Gigalum low. And in my solution, I found that this version is possible with just four bombers instead of the five that it's currently on. And so, therefore, that would indicate that the low did not need any changes at all, including to the skill set. But if the original intent was with five bombers, then um, we'll just have to take... Um, the five um, bomber version is the official one. Uh, pretty nice low though. Yeah, it is a somewhat difficult one. And then biting eight, another pretty difficult one as well. Um, so 
Um, I think for the most part, uh, uh, a lot of the parts are obvious here, but um, just finding your way through this is not very easy at all. It's another Gigalum low. Okay, and then binding 9 is a Plum 5, 10, and Gigalum low. Uh, another somewhat difficult low here, um, but uh, a very nice one, though. Um, I think there's one part of my solution that isn't exactly intended, but um, for the most part, I think um, I got a lot of it intended. Okay, and then finally, uh, biting 10, it's a gigalum low. Yeah, it's a very, very tall low, so therefore, yet another low, which gives the appearance of a very intimidating, overwhelming low. Uh, fortunately, the skill set isn't too tight, but um, um, it's still somewhat restricted, though. And again, um, just finding uh, the most efficient route to get up the low is the hardest part, and especially in navigating the uh, wonky and very rough terrain here. But other than that, it's a very, very nice level to finish off the rank. So, the Binding rank appears to be the rank with a lot of um, uh, Plum 5, 10, and Gigalem collaboration levels. And then for Jellid, uh, Jellid won very nice level to start off the rank. Um, it is somewhat hard, but it's still not a super hard level. Um, and the safe requirement here is pretty lenient, so... Um, um, so really, it's like easier than it appears. Okay, Jella 2, probably a slight background here. Um, I do like the fact that the skill set is mostly a one of everything until you get the uh, pickups. Um, and this is another Plum 5, 10, and Gigalum low. And this also happens to be a uh, favorite tile set of mine as well. I really love the outdoor tile set from Lemmings 2. Uh, Lemmings 2. And then, um, uh, Jellet 3, uh, this is a Plum 510 level. Um, this one can be challenging if you allow it to be, but, um, here I just simply allowed the crowd to all, uh, go out the same side together. So, because of that, it's probably not exactly intended, but then again, it might just be in any way you want low. But it is a very nice level, though, especially with the design and in the toy... Toys Tower set, which I is another favorite of mine. Okay, Jellet for um, definitely a favorite of mine here. So nice job to giggle them, and a very nice solution. So it is symmetrical on both sides, but um, if you just take the normal route, then you can only save one half, uh, half the number of lemmings, and so you really have to think outside the box here. Um, the only gripe here is the builder placement can be a bit precise, but uh, other than that, yeah, it's a very nice solution. So, I think this is a potential for a remake here. Uh, Jellet 5. Uh, this one is a somewhat difficult level. Um, here, I don't exactly like the way that the... Um, uh, in which the Bastion can work, and then you don't get uh, killed by the Fire Trap. Uh, it, it is a somewhat uh, deceptive... Uh, the, um, visually uh, misleading, but... Um, I think what's happening here is that there is some terrain hidden behind the fire traps. And here I kind of um, avoided um, the losses by just cloning a lemming that was going back to the right so that he goes back to like um, block at the end of the builder staircase. Yeah, before the others arrive. Um, so I would say this is a somewhat difficult low, but um, it's I do like the concept here of like um, bashing inside the digger pit uh, once and then. Um, when you get low enough, then you can uh, use the digger to uh, bash and clone. So, um, in a way, this low does appear to be difficult, but it's really not as bad as you think. Yeah, at least once you try it, I guess. Okay, and that was another Gigalum low. And then, um, Jellet 6, a very nice one here. Uh, I just love how you have to um, find um, the most efficient way to use your builders here. And especially uh, going through the one-way walls where arrows going in both directions. Uh, the only part I don't like in my solution is just how I handle the trap at the very top on the left side. But uh, the safe requirement is pretty linear here. But only, do, well, only owing to the fact that one builder suffices for both hatch to stop them from splatting. Okay, uh, Jellet's, um yeah, one of my favorite type of levels, which is a uh, builderless one. Um, so, as a result, it increases the challenge significantly, 
But um, yeah, as long as you know how the skills work here, yeah, then you should be fine. And yeah, it appears to be symmetrical on both sides. So therefore, my solution can easily be adapted for the left side. Okay, and then Jella 8 is another plum 5, 10 and gigalum low. Um, once again, a very wide and tall low, which gives it the appearance of a very overwhelming and difficult low. And it is uh, a pretty hard low, a uh, hard low, but um, um, the skill set is pretty restrictive, but fortunately it's not like extremely tight. Um, yeah, you just need to find the most efficient way to get through the low with those mini obstacles in the way. Um, but a very nice low here though, yeah. And again, uh, one of my favorite tile sets. Okay, uh, Jelly 9 is another uh, builderless low here. So, uh, fortunately, uh, you have plenty of skills here to help you um, get out the low. Although, it is a bit re repetitive for my liking, though. Yeah, with the repeated um, um, basher um, digger staircase or a digger walker staircase. So, I guess you get to take your pick here. But, um, I'm guessing using a digger walker staircase is more efficient since um, you can use your bashers more... Um, like uh, better this way. Alrighty, and then finally, Jelly 10. Yes, a very, very difficult low here, and one in which I might have overcomplicated the solution severely. Um, so, yeah, I would say the hardest part is just the um, very tall structure on uh, near the left side with the downward one way arrows. Yeah, that one took the longest to figure out. Uh, everything else, not so much, but. Um, but overall, it does add up to a very hard low. But uh, it is a very nice challenging low to finish off the Jelly Brank, though. So nice job to giggle them there. Um, possibly a potential for a remake. Uh, I haven't exactly decided it yet, though. Okay, and then the final rank is Scrooge, which I um, surprisingly breezed through. But then again, a lot of these lows, essentially all the lows in this rank, are very highly back routable right now. Yeah. Scrooge 1 is a very good example. I heavily back routed it. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be that easy. Okay, and then Scrooge 2 is a plum 5, 10, and gigalum low. Yeah, this one is a pretty difficult low due to how very wide and tall the low is. Um, and also with the multiple pickups everywhere. Um, so I think in the end, um, my solution is mostly intended, but um, I think there's a couple parts here that aren't. In particular, the way I handled um, turning the crowd back to the left. Um, but it is a pretty nice low, though. Um, Scrooge 3, another pump 5, 10, and gigalum low. Um, likely in any way you want it low, although um, um, maybe um, a slight back route if it isn't. But it's still a pretty nice low, though. I do especially love the tiles I'm mixing here. Okay, and then Scrooge 4, yeah, I'm pretty sure um, my solution here is not intended. And um, I don't know if the um, stoner um, provided at the very beginning was a mistake or not. Uh, it really seems like it is. Yeah, especially since I think you're supposed to take the long way to like rescue the crowd and everything uh, from, from splatting. And again, very nice use of uh, tiles and mixing here. Um, yeah, so as a result, yeah, I would still say that this low is a somewhat difficult low. Um, especially with the uh, very restrictive skill set we have. Alrighty, and then finally Scrooge 5, um, one in which I overdopt the solution here. But uh, at the same time, um, yeah, the part in the middle, yeah, at the very top, yeah, was like the hardest part to figure out. Uh, especially with the builders in short supply too. Um, yeah, then it took me a while to figure out the bombing so that you can get a glider in there to, like, start building. Um, yeah, especially without the cloners and stuff. So, um, I would definitely say a difficult level to finish off the pack, but, um, a very worthy one, too. Uh, possibly a potential for a remake, but, again, I'm not exactly, uh, I haven't exactly decided here. Although, I think, for the most part, I will say it's worthy of one. Um, especially since it's once again, yeah, in a tile set I'd like. 
Okay, so as I said before, that is the entire Holiday Gigalums 2017 pack. Um, so overall, uh, this this level pack is definitely um, uh, for the most part easier than either of his uh, 2015 and 2016 holiday packs. Um, I would say the 2016 one was the hardest one. Yeah, out of the three. Um, the Festival Millers, I would consider them separate. Yeah, from the holiday packs. Um, even though they are pretty much like um, holiday themed in some way. Um, but uh, then again, yeah, the um, 2017 uh, has not been uh, tested by anyone. Yeah, I don't think anyone has ever played this. And so I'm essentially the very first person to test the levels here for uh, Gigalum and Plum 510. Um, and for the most part, a lot of the lows are very highly backgroundable right now, so, um, that would definitely explain why the pack has overall felt easier than the, uh, previous, um, holiday packs. Um, I would definitely think that the difficulty will probably be up there with them, but, um, possibly a bit more than either of the previous two. Um, but in any case, yeah, like I said, um, it's definitely been an honor, uh, collaborating with Gigalum. I'm bundling this pack together in a very nice .nxp file, yeah. So that uh, in this way, I don't have to like individually load up the levels, yeah, via the new Linux player, yeah. Instead, I could just simply load up the .nxp file and then therefore just play all the levels or as many as I want, yeah. In um, in a particular solving session. So in any case, yes. Um, once again, I I want to thank Gigalum here for giving me permission to um, let's play it, this pack of his. Um, and um, as I said before, I'm very, very happy to help him out with um, uh, looking through the lows and seeing what uh, lows would be great for a remake for his projects, for his other projects. Um, now, of course, it it did require me to like go through the lows and like get them solved and stuff in, so that I can make my decisions. But... Um, um, that was pretty much how it was for the other packs as well. Yeah, and um, so essentially with the completion of this pack, yeah, now that I've solved the entire thing, um, yeah, pretty much only his 2019 and 2020 Festival Miller's packs remain, but there are still some future ones as well. Yeah, some of them currently a work in progress, and I definitely look forward to them. I always do, because um, I always admire the very highly artistic quality of his levels, and even if... It, they're very, very beautiful uh, to look at and everything. It it does not mean that they are that those lows will be very easy though, because some of them actually turn out to be very difficult. Yeah, despite looking very pretty. But um, as I mentioned in my in the very first video, of the Let's Play, um, Gigalum is one of the most artistic people I know on the Lemmings forums, uh, along with our friend uh, Plum Five Ten. Yeah, they have done a lot of like logo and graphics work and and stuff. So um, their work is Definitely, uh, definitely uh, deserves to be um, applauded and all. Um, but in any case, yes. Um, so there you go, Gigalum. Yes. Enjoy looking, watching through my LP and seeing uh, my solutions and then letting me know how they are and stuff in regards to whether they are back routes or uh, mostly antenna, uh, however you wish. Uh, but in any case, my videos won't be going anywhere, so uh, feel free to take your time on them. Um, and again, yes, it was a very... Um, uh, big joy, um, working on this with you. Yeah, even though I had absolutely no part in making any of the lows for the pack. Instead, my only contribution here was just selecting the music. And, uh, it seems for the most part that you, um, um, that you, um, for the most part liked my, uh, music selection here. And, um, um, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with you, um, like, um, replacing four of the tracks that I, I'm sorry, selected with four of your own. Uh, but in the end, I decided that two of them could stay, and then um, I replaced the other two uh, with uh, tracks to more to my liking. Of course, that doesn't mean that you had to replace them, though, because, um, yeah, because you could always use the four tracks that you used. Yeah, in my version, I just simply replaced the two tracks, uh, two of your tracks, yeah, with my own uh, that I like better. Um, so I guess you just simply get to take your pick. Yeah, as to whether you want to replace them or not, or just use the version where I replace two of them. Uh, but in any case, yeah, I uh, had to um, have Gigalum be represented in some way here. And so I definitely um, 
uh, needed to honor um, some of his music choices here, uh, particularly since he, he knows more music tracks than I do. Uh, I know very, very little, and hence I tend to have a very difficult time selecting music for the lows. Uh, but in any case, yeah, to make my life a little easier, um, I simply settled for a standard rotation rather than um, pre-assign a track to every level. Yeah, just because uh, if I did that, it would take me an extremely long time. It would essentially take me forever, you can say. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, like I said, uh, to wrap things up, um, uh, it's always been a huge honor working with the wonderful Gigalem you know, on his projects and just helping him out wherever he needs it. Uh, I'll definitely be here, um, despite my busy schedule. Um, and um, for everyone else, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my Let's Play at this uh, 2017 holiday pack, if you've been doing so. And I will see you all for uh, future projects and LPs that I'll be doing. And um, yes, um, have a very nice day.